Okay, son. Anyway, channel message. Too much truth is coming out pertaining to this abusive, narcissistic parental figure. Okay? So you're dealing with this narcissistic parental figure and whether this is your parent, whether this is a baby daddy or a baby mama or an, a spouse or an ex-spouse, whatever the case is, their true colors and motives and morals are being exposed. People are seeing that this person is more so of someone that does not have a moral compass that they have very malicious intent for other people and that their motives are very self-serving their motives are not to help the collective or to you know help their family their motives are always to help themselves and to serve them excuse me confirmation but they put their needs before everyone else's but yet they feel like everyone else should put their needs first. It, it's just, it's the oddest thing. It, this would happen when you're dealing with a narcissist. They feel like their needs come first. They feel like their needs are more important. And this person had gotten away with this behavior for years, decades. This person has gotten away with this behavior, but now it's at a point in time where like no more. We are in the year of karma, exposure, the truth is coming out because all of the damage that they have caused is being exposed because they have not only damaged you the person listening to this they have also damaged other people they've damaged plenty of other individuals throughout your family different relatives every everyone that has been abused by this person has been affected and has been hurt by them and every single person that has been abused by this person has multiple stories of how abusive they were and when you are getting the same type of energy from that specific person not everybody is, is sitting here making this shit up it's like these people are all just like are all crazy no the abuser is an abuser and it's finally coming to the light where people are no longer trying to dismiss the fact this person is so abusive they're no longer trying to hide from the fact that this person is actually abusive because they're afraid of this abuser no the truth is coming out the truth is coming to the light because the lie can only go so far because the truth will remain where it is this person spreads a lot of lies and they're very dishonest about things but the truth has stood still and the lies can only reach the point of truth and the lies can't go any further past the truth. It has to stay here. So when the truth is standing there and it meets the lies, at some point, the truth, the lie will meet the truth and the truth will dismantle the lies being exposed. The truth always outweighs the lies because the light always overpowers the darkness. The light is the truth, the darkness is the lies okay the light is the truth the darkness is the lies this parent this parental figure this parent is a liar they're a liar they are not honest about things they are not a person of integrity they lie like it's a second language they're a liar and the flying monkeys believe them unknowingly the flying monkeys they're you know manipulated by the charm of this person and how good they are this person is so manipulative they are so conniving that people believe them like these people are believing the lies of this person thinking that their lies are actually factual and truth when it's not so but now at this point anyone still trying to defend this parent and make them seem like they are such a saint the flying monkeys, they are now looking ridiculous because how can you de uh, defend a person that has been proven to be so abusive, okay? It's at a point now where the flying monkeys, they may have been able to get away with defending this abuser, th this parent in the past, but now because so much truth has come out, because so many people have come forward about how abusive this, this parent is, and people have come forward about how just just corrupt just evil just wicked just vile this person is so many people are coming to the forefront and admitting how horrible this person is 
that it's at a point where like the flying monkeys trying to trying to defend them or trying to dismiss it it's like now at this point now you're just choosing to not see what's staring you in the face you're choosing to not face reality you are choosing to dismiss the truth that is smacking you in the face because you want your narrative to be present however your narrative is not present because what is present is the reality and you have to face reality some people just don't want to face reality baby they want to continue to live in their lies but at this point, it's no more. It's no longer. It's enough is enough. And the people that are continuing to try to defend this parent are clearly in denial of how abusive this person is. But the people that are in the most denial are going to have a rude awakening because they're going to spend so much time defending this person tooth and nail, so much time going around this person, giving this person access to them. And that per that parent is going to do that same, is going to do that person dirty. They're going to do somebody dirty. The No, the parent is going to do those flying monkeys dirty. And those flying monkeys are going to realize, you know what, this person ain't shit. Like I knew they wasn't shit. And they realize, you know what, they was right about calling this person out. They were right. I was wrong. They may not come out and say this directly to your face, but they're going to feel it in their spirit. They're going to feel that conviction. They're going to feel salty in their spirit because they're like, I've been defending this person that did me the same exact way that everybody warned me about. Imagine how stupid they're going to feel. Anyway. Because tr truly, how can you defend or even justify their actions when there is no justification for their type of behavior their behavior is just wrong right is right and wrong is wrong and what they are doing is wrong and just because something didn't happen to these flying monkeys directly doesn't mean that it can't happen to them these flying monkeys are not above being abused and that's the part that they don't realize they spend so much time defending this abuser defending this parent without even realizing that they're not even safe either they're not you know exempt from being abused by this abuser that abuser is going to abuse them too especially if their main targets are not in in the their life anymore they're going to start abusing everybody else and that's when they're going to learn that's when they're going to have a rude awakening because the flying monkeys were able to be uh, they were able to avoid the abuse because the abuser was abusing their targeted people but now those targeted people have been removed and the abuser only has these these flying monkeys in front of them so the abuser is going to abuse who is in front of them by proximity which is these flying monkeys And anyone trying to act like this parent isn't abusive is just in denial. Nothing more to explain. They are just in denial. They don't want to face the fact that this parent is actually an abuser. Because then they have to face the fact that they themselves have been abused by this parent until they started falling in line to prevent themselves from being abused. And they've been putting on this facade and playing this character and doing whatever they can to walk on eggshells to avoid being abused. Now they're going to realize that how this parent treated them wasn't normal. Not necessarily realizing it, but they're finally going to wake up and stop lying to themselves because the truth is going to smack them in the face. And eventually they're not going to have a lot of people on their side that is continuing to defend them because more people are going to be like, no, you can't keep denying it. No, this person is horrible. This person is abusive. This person is this. This person is that. You can't keep defending him. You can't keep defending her. You cannot keep doing that. This person is who they are. You can choose to deny. You can choose to not see it, but we see it. And it's like now you're the one that's looking crazy for defending somebody when you're cl you're clearly seeing that this person is abusive and you're trying to deny that okay now you have an issue now you have a problem and the thing is it is more evident how heavily in denial that they are when they aren't willing to accept the reality of this abusive parent so now they're the ones that are looking crazy because they are in denial because why choose to not see what is happening right in front of you? Why choose to ignore? Why choose to deny? And the thing is, this abusive parent, they were able to get away with this for so long. And now it's at a point where they're going to be exposed for who they are. And people are finally going to see them for how wicked and abusive they really are.